Now in this video, we're going to look at how to override these uh, detail family inside this view. Now this group here, this array here is made out of um, detail family and it is for identifying the, the beam and joy spacing. So if we go into the highlight the group and then go to edit group and lay, highlight this family, you can see that this is the beam and joy spacing detail component. And we can just go to highlight this again and say add a family. You can see this is just a 2D family. And if we look at the category, this is a detail item. So we want to override this detail item inside the view. So we're going to close this and go back in here and finish this. And now we need to go to visibility graphic override. And we click on here to open up visibility graphic override. And we're going to go to the filter tab. And we're going to create a new filter. So we're going to click Edit New. And we're going to create a new selection filter. And we're going to use the name of the family as a filter name. So it's going to be Beam and Joyce Spacing. So OK. And now in here we need to, in the filter list, we need to look for detail items. So go down to detail items. So we filter that we're going to select a family of detail items in here. And then in here, we're going to select family name and it's going to be equal to and click on a drop down uh, beam and joy spacing. Select OK. Now we're going to add that filter into this view. We um, switch graphic override setting and beam and choice spacing. Select OK. And now you can override um, the visibility if we turn this off. So if we go to turn this off here, make this a little bit smaller. Oh no. Okay. We can turn this off and apply. You'll turn it all off. But if we click apply, you'll turn it back on. And we can override the, the line. So we can click in here. We can change the color if we want it to be red. We can say, OK, apply, it will turn red. If we want to change it to a gray tone, change it to a light tone. And you can always adjust this to change a different tone. So like, OK, and it's like, OK, and it's like, apply. You can see that this all changed to a gray tone. So it's very simple to set this up. And now if you want to override this one, this is not the same, um, does not have the same family name. So you have 36Y, G, Beam, and Joy Spacing. So if you want to create a filter for overriding family by this name, so all you need to do is just go back to this graphic override. And from the filter, and you can select Edit New. And we're going to click in here. You can actually uh, duplicate this. And we're going to rename this 36YG. Take out the bracket at the end here. Select OK. And now we just click in here, select this name, and select OK. And then we have a new filter. Now in here, uh, we're going to add the other filter in here. And we're going to change that to red. So you can see that we use filter to change this one to red. And the rest of these are still in a gray tone. So this is the overall uh, process of how to create filter for overriding items in your view. So if you want the other views to have the same settings, so you can go toggle into this view and apply the filter and make the same setting again. So I hope you find this video helpful and thank you for watching.